Welcome to the Art Project. This episode is going to be about Jim Dine. Uh, Jim Dine was an artist that I have uh, admired his work uh, for some time. Uh, Jim Dine uh, is a pop artist, not quite as well known as uh, Andy Warhol or uh, Jasper Johns. Uh, but Jim Dine is uh, a great artist that I, I've liked his work. And I think one of the reasons that I've liked his work so much is because of sort of the simplicity of the subject matter and the focus and concentration on the mark making around the uh, subject matter. And so, as you might have guessed from this uh uh, video he uh, has a series of paintings prints drawings of uh, paintbrushes as well as other things uh, Claus Oldenburg with the G is what that should have been and happenings um, but anyway I, I didn't really know anything at all about the happenings that he was a part of uh, but the happenings uh, if you're not familiar with what a happening is, uh, a happening is a sort of a, a performance art. Um, I'm not going to go into it a whole lot because uh, I'm not real familiar with all of that. But uh, he was one of the first to um, do performance art, to do happenings. And he did it along with uh, Claus Oldenburg and uh, John Cage and some others. Um, but he's also famous for doing these tools. His parents were uh, Jewish iron workers, and so he was surrounded by tools, and he did a lot of work um, in drawings, uh, paintings, sculptures, prints even, of uh, tools that he did. Uh, one that he's famous for is uh, spray paint on canvas of like the negative space. Um, he played with uh, positive space and uh, he played with the negative space. He played with the positive and negative space of um, the various objects and he, and he did a really good job of that. Um, th so there's no examples, <coughs> excuse me, no examples of his work in this video, but I, I strongly encourage you to Google Jim Dine and uh, look at the work that he did. And uh, you'll see where some of the inspiration came from for the various things that I'm doing in this video. Um, at first, I was I was going to do this uh, ode to Jim Dine because I had some of these paintbrushes that I found while I was cleaning up, and I thought that that would just kind of be fun to do. And then I was like, you know, I, I need to make a video of this. And so. Uh, this particular thing that I'm working on right here is what I really wanted to do when I started making this video. Uh, and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Uh, uh, Jim Dine uh, painted skulls, hearts, uh, bathrobes, um, do drawings of them and prints of them. And he was, uh, I think, fairly prolific with what he did. And that's one of the, another thing that I like about Jim Dine is it seems that he, uh, he just cranked out some work. And he did a lot of good work and um, uh, just just as a hard worker, which I think as an artist we really have to be in order to um, make our mark on the world and in order to make a living. So this is how uh, my paintbrush, my ode to Jim Dine turned out. Um, if you look at his online, his are prints or drawings and uh, they're pretty awesome. The texture in them, the mark making is just fantastic. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please share uh, in the comments. Uh, share on your favorite social media platform and leave me a comment in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to read the description in the description box below. Sometimes I leave extra information in there or links to different products or uh, maybe even links to the artists themselves. So, again, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, comments down below. Uh, anything that you want to leave for me. Y'all uh, go make some art.